Advanced Melee System is an open source, skill-based combat technology. It utilizes a directional system, allowing you to change the direction you attack in. A draw system, allowing you to draw out your weapon to deal more damage. A feint system, allowing you to fake attacks and trick your opponent. And a stun system, allowing you to stun your enemies as you hit and block them. AMS contains most of the tools you'll need for a combat game, such as swords, shields, spears, and bows. AMS is highly customizable, allowing you to modify it to your liking. In this video, you'll learn how to set up AMS and your own tools within it. To set up AMS, first go to this plugin linked in the description. Then click Install and open up Roblox Studio. Then it should say the plugin was successfully installed. I'm going to open a base plate just to test it out. Alright, so now that we have the base plate open, let's click Plugins in the top right. Then let's find Advanced Melee System and above it click Setup. This will go ahead and put in all of our files. Uh, the plugin may ask you for script permissions. If so, click Allow and then click Setup once more. Alright, so now that we've added the files from AMS, we're going to need to set up the animations. So to do this, open up the config, search up config, and open up the config under AMS shared. Then in the workspace, find the animations model that should have been added in. This houses all of the animations from AMS. Next, uh, for every animation in this, right click, save to Roblox, and then hit submit and then copy the ID and then find the animation. As you can see, this is bow equip in the config, bow equip, and then paste the ID. And we're gonna do that for this as well. Save to Roblox, submit, copy the ID and paste that in here. Now, another important thing is the creator of the animation. So as you can see, when we're submitting it, um, if your game is under a group, you're going to want to switch the creator to the group. But if the game is on your profile, you're just going to switch it to me. So you're going to go down this animations list and upload them and paste them into the config. So let's go ahead and do that. All right, as you can see, I finished uploading the animation, so we can go ahead and play test the game. Let's go ahead and play the game. Let's just select a shield and a sword, and already the animations are working. Let's go ahead and test out all the attacks. Let's test out the block, the testudo, and then let's go ahead and reset. So we can test out the spear. I'm gonna go ahead and test out the spear and the bow. Bow works fine. And then the spear. And there we go. So all the animations are working and you have the tech already set up in just a few minutes. All right, I wanna talk a little bit about the customization of AMS. So let's go ahead and open the config and scroll past the animations. As you can see in the elements section, there's a lot of different elements that we can disable and enable, such as gore, sound, and the ragdoll. An instance of this would be the client tracked collisions. If we were to set this to false, this would track all collisions on the server and make exploiting the tech impossible. Of course, it comes at the cost of degrading user experience for players who have a higher ping. So let's go ahead and look at the attributes. As you can see, we change the walk speed, the camera offset for when you have a tool equipped, the shield hitbox size, and the maximum tools you can get in that tool selector. So in the tool section, this is where we will add new tools. As you can see, the copus is a sword and the dory is a spear. So the tool name is on the left and the type of tool is on the right. I'm gonna go into this tool section later in the video as we add new tools. I want to talk about the tool selector, so let's go ahead and set this to false. 
So how might you get tools without the tool selector? I'm going to show you how to do that. As you can see, I spawn in without the tool selector, so I can't select any tools. So let's go ahead and stop the game and go into the starter pack. Let's create an empty model and give it the name that corresponds to a tool. So for instance, I'm going to give this name Dory. As you can see, that corresponds to this tool. And I'm going to go and add another model and give it the name, let's say, Sparta. So we're giving it a Spartan shield. And if we hit play, it will give me this fixed selection of tools rather than allowing me to select the tool like it did before. So if I still want the tool selector, but I want to be able to, to limit the amount of tools that I can select, what you can do is actually, so let's go into here, just to check out how you might do that. Let's delete this. Let's say instead of having the option to select from all these tools, I only want to select from, let's say three tools. Let's go ahead and delete a bunch of these. Say delete this, delete this, delete this, delete this. I can see we've limited the tool selector to three tools. So essentially whatever team you're under, the tool selector will get its tools from that team. If I hit play now, I'm under the neutral team. So I'll get the neutral tool selectors and I can select from these three tools. Uh, unlike before where I could select from much more. Of course, you can add to this, you can add your own tools and whatnot. So now you know how to use AMS with a tool selector and without. So now I want to demonstrate adding in a new shield. So I have the toolbox open, just view toolbox, and I searched up medieval shield, and then just chose this shield. And let's go ahead and add this shield into AMS. So first what we're gonna do is, we're gonna have to find a basically a template shield that from AMS. So let's go into tools and let's find shield. Copy that and paste that into the workspace. Uh, make sure you copy and paste that, that way you're not like, you don't modify this, this actual shield. So there we go, we have the shield right here. Let's go ahead and drag this over here. All right, I'm just gonna scale this shield a bit so it's about that same size. All right, and what you're gonna wanna make sure is that these shields are rotated the same way. Then open up this shield, copy the shield attach, and then paste that into here. Then you're just gonna go ahead and align this. Oops, let's go ahead and align this shield attach right about in the middle of the shield, a little bit out. Sort of like we would put this shield attach right here. This is basically where it will attach to the player. So this is sort of a good spot. As you can see the shield attach right here is right off the edge of this handle. So let's go ahead and maybe put our shield attach right about there. Of course, you can configure this position if you don't really like it when you see it on the player. Go ahead and make sure it's about centered. All right, so now what we're gonna do is once you have that shield attached there and aligned with your shield, go ahead and click your shield, hit plugins and hit initialize tool. This will just weld everything together and add some properties to make sure that it all works. Now I'm just gonna rename this shield to wooden and I can delete this shield now. And there we go, that's, that's all we have to do. Our shield is set up. So we're gonna drag that into the tools, AMS assets tools. But we need to also edit the config to make sure this works. Let's go into AMS shared, config. And as you can see the tool section, we're gonna put the name of our tool equals shield. And we're saying equals shield because basically on the right is the type of tool that it is. And this is a shield. Now in my tool selector, I'm going to go ahead and change this to a the wooden. So basically this corresponds to the wooden shield. And hit play. Hit wooden. And there we go. I got the shield. 
course, the position is, is a bit off. I think I put it too much uh, away from the shield. But that's something that can be easily fixed just by moving it. And yeah, that's how you set up a shield. Alright, so now I'd like to demonstrate how you would set up a sword. Let's go ahead and get a sword from the toolbox. Let's move this into a model. Let's go ahead and copy in the copus. It's essentially our template sword. Let's go ahead and align these swords so that the rotation is the same. Let's go ahead and in the copus, let's copy over the sword attach, damage part, and blocker. Alright, then what we're going to do is let's go ahead and move the damage part to the blade of the sword. Alright, there we go. Then what we're going to do is set the end to be at the end of the sword and the start to be at the start of the sword. And there we go. So these are at the start and the end of the sword blade. Then we're going to position the blocker. So essentially, we're going to want the blocker to encompass all of the sword and more. Alright, so there we go. The blocker part has encompassed all the sword. If you're finding that one-handed blocking is difficult, you're going to want to increase the size of this blocker. Now what we're going to do is also position the sword attack to be at the handle of the sword. Alright, and there we go. Now all we have to do is click the sword, click plugins, and hit initialize tool. Then we're going to delete this copus and drag this sword into the tools. Open up the config and say sword And then we're going to change this bow to sword so that I get the sword in the tool selector. And there we go, the sword does work. As you can see, the blocking appears to be working, and the swinging is working as well. Alright, so now I'm going to demonstrate how you can set up a new spear. Let's go ahead and get a spear. This one looks good. Let's go ahead and move this up a bit. And just check the model. Alright, so now what I'm going to do is get the spear, or the dory, from the AMS tools. Then we're going to make sure that this spear is rotated in the same way. Let's go ahead and rotate it. I'm going to go ahead and scale this spear a tad bit, just so it's about the same size. Alright, so then we're going to click the spear, and then we're going to open that, and we're going to take the blocker, the damage part, and the spear attach. Let's copy those and drop those into the spear. And yeah, we can just delete the old spear now. It doesn't really matter. First off, let's take the damage part and put that at the head of the spear. We're going to put the start at the start of the uh, head of the spear and the end at the end. And the ranged end should go like above, like this, above the tip, and the range start should go below the tip. So there we go, we have our attachments positioned. Now let's go ahead and take the blocker and position that. I'll just leave it like this for now, but if you think one-handed blocking for spears is not that effective you're going to want to increase the size of this blocker next we're going to take the spear attach and we can put that right above in the middle or uh, you can move it uh, to near to the end so that the spear is more more of it is in the front of the player than in the back but you would have to decrease the size of the model for this we're just going to keep it in the middle right about here Actually, I can just go ahead and decrease the size a bit like that. There we go. 
Let me just make sure these are still the same syntax. Okay, so now what we need to do is hit plugins and initialize tool and then drag this into the tools. And then open up the config and then say And then go ahead and add this to my T tool selector and go ahead and play. Let's go ahead and hit sphere. So far it's working. Let's go ahead and try out the animations. Let's go ahead and test drawing the spear. So there we go, that works as well. All right, it looks like the spear has been set up successfully. So now I'm going to demonstrate how you'd set up a bow. So first let's go ahead and get a bow model. I just searched up bow model in the toolbar. Delete some of these things inside here. Just want to make sure that it's just the, uh, just the model itself. I'm going to drag this to the ground and this bow is not really rotated properly. So let's go ahead and fix that. All right, there we go. Then what we're gonna do is find the base bow, uh, the base tool, and paste that into the workspace. And let's drag that over, and pull our character over here. Now what we're gonna do is open up this bow, take the bow, uh, arrow, string bottom, string middle, string top, and don't copy or cut it, just drag it into the bow. And so after you drag it in, just delete the old bow. Now what we're going to do is uh, to set this up first, grab these uh, three strings and you're going to want to move them uh, to the bow. You're going to want to position them how their name implies. So the string bottom should go basically at the bottom of the bow. String middle should go in the middle between the two strings and String top should go right at the top, right here. All right, there we go, so we set up the strings. Uh, now we're gonna take the bow attach and push that into the middle of the bow. Now setting the arrow is a bit weird, so we're gonna take this arrow uh, and we're gonna delete the arrow part. And we're gonna rename our arrow to arrow part. And then we're gonna create a new model, just temporarily. And we're gonna place the arrow, arrow attach, and our arrow part in here. Or oops. Let's go ahead and take out that arrow attach. Uh, make sure they're all individually in here. So then what we're gonna do is, let's go ahead and move the arrow and the arrow attach. So the arrow should be at uh, around the front of the arrow. So not exactly at the front, but like a little bit behind the arrow head. So right about here, like behind the arrow head. This is essentially how far the arrow will pierce into an object. Then we have the arrow attached. That should be at the very back of the arrow. And there we go, so we have this all set up. And now what we're gonna do is hit the model, click plugins and hit initialize tool on this. Then drag the arrow attach after it has its welds under the arrow and the arrow part under the arrow. And then drag the arrow under the bow and then delete this model. Now what we're gonna do is hit the bow and hit once again, initialize tool. Uh, but we're going to need to delete some welds. First, delete any weld that has arrow on it. And delete all the string welds. You're going to want to keep the motor 6Ds, but make sure you, you delete the welds. And there we go. So I'm just double check this. And it looks like it's fine. So let's go ahead and take the bow and drag this into the tools. And I'm going to name this new bow. And then I'm going to go to config. I'm going to say the bow equals bow and then I'm going to go ahead and 
add a model and name that well and then we can go ahead and test this out so you can see i added the bow in so far it looks fine let's go ahead and do this and there we go looks like it's working out so you can see the arrow is there and looks like the bow did work as you can see we've made one tool for every tool type in ams we made a bow sword, a shield, and a spear. Thank you for watching the video and see you next time.